Hello everyone, I'm Kayla Givens, and this is your Solano College Sports Update. Hello everyone, I'm Kayla Givens. We've got a great show for you today. We'll be covering high school football, Solano soccer, Solano women's volleyball, as well as a report on Solano's baseball alumni game. And now I'll be kicking it over to Studio A, over to Joseph Angier and Jake Wade with our high school update. Thanks, Kayla. It has been an exciting week in high school football this week. I am Joseph Angier, here with Jake Wade in studio at the Solano College Sports Network. And we're here to talk about how Vaca High is showing their dominance in still the Malicello Empire League, where Vaca High beats Armio Indians 52-13, Chad Hecking showing his arm strength with 132 passing yards. Next, we have the Vintage Arrowheads beating Rodriguez Mustangs 49-26, where Brett Badali had an astounding game, adding to his ta total tackle total 260 where now we have the Napa Indians beating Will C. Wood Wildcats 46-220. That is not the game that you would <clears throat> expect from these Wildcats who have been showing their muscles this in the Monticello League this year. <clears throat> Mac Nielsen had an astounding game for the Napa Indians with 195 yards and two TDs. Now we are going to send it over to Jake Wade where he's going to talk about our high school player to watch. Thanks, Joe. And this week's high school player to watch is Vacaville High School starting quarterback Chad Hecking and his remarkable season. He's had over 1,000 complete yards passing and rushing, 15 total touchdowns, and he's showing those scouts at Utah that he can really run and throw the ball very well, showing everything he can do um, to really be a dominant quarterback at the next level as Vacaville will go on to beat Granite Bay 13-7. And this is a game against Oak Ridge as Vacaville ends up dropping this game 24-23 is their only loss on the year. Vacaville is 6-1. and one. Hecking showing everything that is needed in a star quarterback. Pro pocket presence, the ability to run, great arm strength, awesome accuracy. And he's really showing why he deserved to get that scholarship at the University of Utah. And now, last home game for Vacaville, Hecking threw for four touchdowns against the Rodriguez Mustangs as they completely dominated them. 61-7 to was the final score there as Hecking had a great career day there. We're very excited to see Hecking's career progress to the next level as he will, again, be playing football at the University of Utah. And thanks. We're sending it back to Kayla in the main studio. Thanks, guys. And now I'll be sending you over to Studio B with Remington Green for a volleyball report. Thanks, Kayla. I'm Remington Green. The Solano Lady Falcons are rolling with an 11-game win streak and are 7-0 and zero in the Bay Valley Conference. Here are just a couple of the women that are making this impressive record happen. First up, we've got Brianna Kristek, number 15 for the squad. She averages three kills per set and has a total of 89 kills in conference play alone and 200 kills overall. Now, Kristek is also one of the top servers on the team. Although she's an outside hitter, she's got an impressive total of 47 digs and conference play. And here she is with a kill, winning the game against Yuba. Next up is Kiana Layug, the libero for the Lady Falcons. Not only does Layug have the number one on her back, she's number one in conference play for digs, racking up a whopping total of 123 digs in the BBC and 245 digs on the year. Next up is Vanessa Pimentel. She's a sophomore for Solano, and she's definitely showing leadership on the court. As a setter, she's got 287 assists, but she also leads the squad as a top server with 38 service aces, earning her the number three spot in the Bay Valley Conference with a total average of .58 serve aces per set. She also has all the room to celebrate because that hard work is paying off. We here at the SCSN are looking forward to what she accomplishes for the rest of her season. And to round off the show is Michaela Salazar, the team's most recent Best Buy player of the game. 
As the middle hitter, she leaves no more questions about the absence of Gabby Silva. With 87 kills, 16 service aces, 24 solo blocks, and 18 block assists overall, Michaela has shown a lot of improvement this year, and as a sophomore, we look forward to seeing the stats she'll finish her Solano career with. Way to go, Lady Falcons. Keep working hard. Thanks, everyone. I'm signing out. Bumping it back over to the studio to Kayla Givens. Thanks, Remy, for that excellent update. Now we'll be kicking it over to Studio C with Biddy Wattel for the Alumni Baseball Game Report. Thank you, Kayla. I'm Vinny Wattel. Back on October 4, 2014, Solano College hosted an alumni baseball game between the Solano Falcons baseball team and the alumni baseball team at Billy and Louise Yarbrough Stadium. Before the start of the game, five individuals were elected into the Baseball Solano College Hall of Fame first ever. And Hall of Famers Ryan Lipkin, Cody Carora, Vic Ferrante, Dustin Crenshaw, and Tommy Pavese all getting together with a picture with Coach Scott Stover. And now onto the bottom of the second, Jacob Pavlovsky on the first pitch, singles into center field, getting the base runner to start off the inning. Next batter, Jesse Phipps, strikes out swinging, but Pavlovsky steals second base, beating out Cody Miller's throw. Connor, next batter, Connor Dick, grounds into second, but will get beat out the throw as Matt Fernandez not, can't get it down. Heads up base running by Pavlovsky, and he's, he scores, and it's a one nothing Solano lead. Top of the fourth, now Tommy Pavese with a pop fly into left field, but Alvaro Rubicalba and Jesse Phipps cannot get to the ball as it falls in front of them. Pavese will get into second with a stand-up double. Next batter, Dan Cody tries to bunt with two strikes, but strikes out doing so. However, the ball will get into the, to the dugout, awarding Tommy Pavese two bases as he rounds third and ties the game at one apiece. As we are now going to go to the bottom of the fourth now. Avaro Rubicalba will start off the inning with a four-pitch walk. Getting, getting, on, getting on first base to start off the bottom of the fourth. And next pitch, Rubicalba to steal second base, but will get there safely after Cody Miller air mills his throw to second. Next pitch, Jacob Pavlovsky with the base hit into left field. Rubicaba coming in to score from second base, beating out Bino Thompson's throw. However, though, Rubicaba, or Pavlovsky tries to take third base, and he will get nailed doing so. Doing so. Top of the six now, Ryan Lipkin with the shallow pop fly. Barely getting into center field, but Isaiah Ayala loses track of the ball, can't make the catch. Ryan Lipkin will reach first base safely. Now Dan Cody in the pinch run for Ryan Lipkin as he will steal second base without getting a throw off. The next batter, Tommy Pavese, with his second hit of the game, will send Dan Cody into will send Dan Cody home as he slides into second base. The game now tied at two. Bottom of the we head now to the bottom of the eighth. Andrew Harris will draw a leadoff walk, but in the Solano Falcons in business. And now later on, Andrew Harris on the pitch will, will get himself into scoring position by stealing second base. Getting runner into scoring position. Next batter, Evan, er, Brandon Donnelly on the next pitch, grounds out to second base, moving Andrew Harris to third, basically getting him a sacrifice bunt. Or, and next batter, Evan Facenda with a sacrifice fly going into left, in the right field. Andrew Harris will score, scoring the eventual winning run. 3-2 to two for the Solano Falcons, even though the Solano Falcons officially won the game 3-2. to two, Coach Scott Stober wanted to play the bottom of the ninth to have everyone from the alumni baseball team a chance, including Chad Chadfield. Chad Chadfield with the strikeout. Gets a batter running into grounding into second base. And then all and then we'll end the and then we'll end here with the strikeout for a one, two, three, bottom of the ninth. 
Ninth. And that will do it for the Baseball Alumni Game Report. I'm Vinny Wattell, sending it back to Kayla. And there you have it, folks, with your Solano College Sports Update. Once again, I'm Kayla Givens. Thanks for watching.